Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and we have something super exciting for you today and it is the Cotton Candy Carnival! Check out this awesome Ferris wheel. This is part of the Ruminate collection and these are motorized working carnival rides. So you got the little um, carousel there with the horses and you got the Ferris wheel here and you got the little games booth over here and it comes with two figures and this is by Play Monster. So you build this awesome Ferris wheel and then it also has the wiring to make it go, to make it spin. I have always wanted a real working Ferris wheel so this should be totally awesome. So this is for ages 8 and up so you're going to need some building skills. I sure hope I have them. And it says the motor add, adds real carnival motion. So this is one of the STEM toys. If you're wondering what the meaning of STEM is, it tells you down there. Science, technology, engineering, and math. So you're going to hear that term, or you've been hearing that term, quite a lot in education and in educational toys. So this is an awesome building toy, and it's going to um, allow you to add the motor to it, do a little bit of uh, wiring, and get it running. So I'm going to show you the back of the box real quick. It says build. So you snap together the pieces to start your creation. It also has stickers, which add to the awesome design that you saw in the front so you can design it also the the food section and the game section by the thing or kind of however you want it shows you building the horse there and adding stickers to the horse and it also says bring your creation to life with circuits and motors so i don't know if this also means that we'll be able to build this swing but we're definitely going to check it out so it says connect your circuits to our power to control them remotely from a smartphone or tablet holy smokes i did not know that that is going to be awesome so here it lists all the different contents right here i'm not going to list them off because there's a ton of things in this box but we will open it up and show you all that comes in the box and then i'm going to build this thing so that we can give those dolls a ride on the cotton candy carnival so we'll be right back Okay, and here's everything out of the box. And it barely fits on the screen here. There's so many awesome pieces here. We have our motors over here, our base piece over here. Looks like the top over there. Our horses over here for the carousel. Our awesome figures right here. And our food, our ring toss, little corn dogs in there. We're going to get all of this set up. But let me show you. It comes with stickers here and also a close up build of what looks like, you know, if you can't quite figure it out this one might be a little tricky they give you a close-up that way you can see exactly how to build it which is awesome <clears throat> so here's the booklet that it comes with instructions and ideas so here's the ferris wheel the carousel little games and food booth and here's the build of the ferris wheel the build of the chair swing if you want to do it here's how to wire your motor and here's how to build the carousel part of it and I'm going to show you also, it gives you a little bio of Bettina and Jenna, which are the two figures it comes with and tells you a little bit about them, which is cool. Favorite foods, pasta and pie, and her favorite foods are pizza and donuts. So it might tell you what they might actually want to order at the fair. Here's some other sets you can get. Zoe's Pet Vet Van, Emma's Townhouse, Cozy Corner Cafe, Sophia's Ice Cream Cart, woo! And Alice's mansion take a look at that thing so awesome so this is a really great not just instruction booklet but like I said gives you a little information on everything and I think it's really cool that the two characters you can already read and learn a little bit about them just love the cotton candy hair so check them out and they are articulated at the knee so they can sit and enjoy the ride so we're gonna get this thing put together and give you a closer look and hopefully get it working so we'll be right back okay and we're back and here's our ferris wheel and our little carousel built um, we did not build the little games section we have all the pieces over there to show you so this is not a project for the faint at heart let me just say um, it um, it does take some some working with and to get all the pieces just right um, I will show you the working ferris wheel just a second here let's see so let me snap that back in there so the pieces all snap together like that 
and um, the dolls do fit in the carousel um, buckets, but um, the size of the doll and the fact that her knees bend, she still doesn't fit quite in the bucket just right. And you kind of, she kind of has to either sit up off the seat or kind of ride sideways. So it would be helpful if the doll was a little bit smaller so it fit in there a little bit more appropriately. But anyway, so if you can either bend her knees or you can not bend her knees and let her kind of sit sideways. And, um, but also, you know, the fact that it goes, children are going to want to put other toys in there, like Shopee dolls seem to fit in there pretty good. The little ones. And I'm sure you have many other minifigure um, type dolls that could take a ride in the awesome. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on so you can see it go. Whoa, it took off, didn't it? Look at that. Wow. And it's, it, because I guess I have them both um, weighted, I need to put them in opposite carts or whatever. But it does, see, you push the button right there and the motor and it will go. So I think it's awesome as a working Ferris wheel. I think it does its, um, it does its job. I do wish, like I said, that the dolls fit in there a little bit better. But, um, so I think the, the Ferris wheel is, is, works pretty well there. And um, I like how it goes around. That is so cool. So let me turn it off a second. All right. And then I'm going to come back in here, zoom back, because the Ferris wheel is so big you can hardly see. But here's our carousel. Our carousel um, didn't, I don't think it quite had the right motor. I think it had the same identical motor. And in the instructions, it kind of showed a different motor. So I think we got two identical motors um, in which it made it hard for this to sit up on hit this without the stick poking through. Um, and also our little pink top, which shows in the picture, it wasn't, we didn't have a pink top in the picture. Um, so we took this, the yellow piece that came with it, but I think it's supposed to be a little table stand like this one, um, and just stuck it up there. Now the other doll is on the carousel, so you can see her let's see here so she's on the horse right there um she doesn't she does i mean she fits on the horse and rides or whatever but it does have this slot right here and i wish she did slide down a little bit better in the slot so if she was a smaller doll also i think she would fit better into this set as well um we did have some difficulty we kind of um made our own thing to help it stand down there and um so that was a good thing at least the the toy definitely made us think and try and problem solve to get it um get it going properly because I think we did get the wrong motor with our set. But anyways, so here we go. We hit the the uh, button on this one. And there she is. She takes a ride on the carousel. And that's, you know, that's basically what it's supposed to do. I think the horses are really cute. I like how they're sculpted. I like the little divot in the saddle. But I expected um, them to maybe fit down on it. Um, it looked the saddle looks kind of like it would fit like a Playmobil type figure So I don't know if it would or not, but um, it's pretty cute turning around like that It is a shame that it has to be a little bit high off the base But really when you're playing it doesn't matter as long as you put the people in I mean they're really not literally gonna step off the carousel You wouldn't want a live carousel that high off the ground, but anyway, so And then you just push the button And it stops so I do love the fact that the motors make them work. That is really cool. And um, But like I said, it was um, difficult to put together. So it will take you a while. Now here's some of the awesome pieces that come that you can actually build too. There's a little bench that Mr. Assistant build, built. He helped me build um, this because it was kind of a two, it was a man and woman job or should I say. <laughs> two-hand job so there's a little chair and you can do all you can even be more creative it showed like a slide in the thing um, we didn't put our stickers on but like I showed you the stickers you can um, attach there as well and um, all the little teddy bears and stuff like that so the prizes are basically stickers um, that you put on there the, this part I really 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 do like that's a little stand there I mean that's a little computer thing but we have here the um, here's the rings for the ring toss, and I think the pretzels are pretty cute. And check out these. This is is this a hot dog or a taco? Actually, 
I'm not exactly sure, but it looks delicious. And they got little pretzels. They got ice creams. Now this looks like an ice cream. Oops, sorry. That looks like an ice cream. And um, this, I guess it could be ice cream as well. Or it could be cotton candy, but it's got kind of a cherry on top. Um, they got little drinks right here. And this is my favorite. Um, I mean, I like the pretzel. This is my favorite one. The corn dog with the mustard on it. So check that out. Can you see that? That's pretty cool. So I really, really like the accessories with it um, that come with it. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these awesome things in action. Um, like I said, I do wish the dolls were a little bit smaller to fit in there and possibly that there was a little bit little more detail in the instructions and maybe that's just because we're not the greatest at some stem toys but anyway we got it together so you can see it in action and my favorite part is the working ferris wheel and the little food especially the little corn dog i think those are my favorite parts of this set so thank you so much for watching um let us know if you've tried out any of these sets um comment like subscribe tell a friend and we will see you next time